Chest tubes are used to drain air, blood, or fluid from the pleural space. There are different types of insertion, pleural and mediastinal. Pleural can be mid-axillary or mid-clavicular, and mediastinal is typically right in the center. When a chest tube is being removed, if it's in the pleural space, you wanna make sure you're checking a chest X-ray prior to mobility and monitoring oxygen saturation levels as opposed to mediastinal removal. Chest tubes have a collection chamber, sometimes known as an atrium, which must remain upright and below the draining site. You wanna avoid kinks in the tubing and you wanna make sure you don't have dependent loops that are fluid filled. It is important when you're mobilizing these patients to monitor their respiratory rate, their oxygen saturation levels, as well as their lung sounds. These may be connected to suction as well. If it's not connected to suction, lots of times you can just mobilize the patient and not have to worry about a specific order in place. If it is connected to suction, you would need to check if it's okay to mobilize the patient on water sill, that is, you can remove it from suction, or if you need to mobilize the patient on portable suction. Some facilities may have portable suction so that you can still mobilize the patient even though the patient needs to remain on continuous suction. If this is dislodged, you wanna cover the area with your hand, apply pressure, and call the nurse immediately for assistance.